Hey, how's it going everybody? Homus here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on Modern Warfare 2. Today I'm bringing you guys my five favorite class setups I think that you should use in Search and Destroy and Respawn. These are primarily made for Search and Destroy though. They're going to be very good weapons, usually with lower recoil and higher mobility. This is going to help you get the edge in all the gunfights that you're in. I'm going to go ahead and give you five guns, starting with the fifth best all the way to what I think is the first best gun in the game. You guys can always change some of the attachments around if you feel like you need to. And if you want the class setup though, they'll also be in the description down below if you miss it on screen. And I'll also put the time stamps below if you want to skip to a certain weapon at a certain time or at a certain ranking so without wasting any more time let's get straight into it also i'm going to go ahead and put my settings at the end of the videos i'm going to give you the five class setups and then my settings at the end of it with my bindings if you guys are interested in that so starting off at the number five spot we have the fennec 45 the fennec 45 is actually a decent weapon in this game it's high rate of fire has pretty good damage and low recoil it's super good for close quarters engagements if you look at the attachments that i use i have the vlk laser seven milliwatt the chrono mini pro the fennec stippled grip the phase three grip and the lacerta compensator i'll look at the tune for each one uh, i'll show it to you if you want to screenshot it quickly if you miss any of them they'll be in the description down below for every gun all the tunes as well uh, here's a tune for the compensator here is the tune for the phase three grip it's the optic here is there's no tune for the laser i'm sorry and here is the tune for the stippled grip tape and if I take this gun over to the firing range, you'll see that it actually has a very good, good ADS. Recoil is pretty low. Now, are you shooting a target that far with the Fennec? You deserve to die. I just want you to know. You don't really want to take anything past mid-range with this weapon. This weapon is very, very good for close to medium range. Anything past that, and you are asking to lose the gunfight. But just because how good it is in close to medium range gunfights is the reason why this is in the top five of the best guns in the game, especially for multiplayer. Moving on to the number four spot, we have the Lockman Sub. I actually hate this gun, I'm not gonna lie to you, because the iron sights for this are just abysmal and I think they killed the MP5, but I can't deny that this weapon is really, really good. I have the FT Mobile Stock, the Lockman TCG 10 Grip, the Phase 3 Grip Under Barrel, again, the Lacerda Compensator, and the VLK Laser 7 Milliwatt. You'll notice that this laser is pretty much gonna be on every every gun and if i go with the muzzle it's usually going to be the lacerda let's go ahead and take a look at the tune we have the uh tune right here for the compensator if you want to go ahead and take a look at that here is a tune for the phase three grip this is the under barrel and then here is the ft mobile stock tune this is for increased ads and aiming stability really helps with sustained shots and this is the lockman TC tcg 10 grip tune if you want to tune, like always, it'll be it'll be in the description down below. This gun actually is really good now. It's uh it's three to four shots consistently, especially a uh, small to medium ranges. It's gonna really excel against most guns in the game. There's only a few guns in this game that can really outdo this weapon. I think the Fennec uh, is a pretty good one if the player on uh, that you're going up against has a really good shot. But this gun consistently is more forgiving than the Fennec, which is why I put it in the number four spot. It's very consistent as a better recoil and the fire rate isn't as fast so you're not going to be finding yourself running out of ammo as much as you can see here if you can see here you see that the um, the mp5 or the lockman sub in this game lockman sub and not the mp5 in this game you see that the recoil really isn't all that bad the ads speed quick jump shots still pretty quick this is all around reliable smg that I would honestly use over the Fennec if I had to choose between the two, but they're they're both still the top five, definitely top five in the SMGs. Moving on to number three spot. Here's the attachments that I have for the Chimera. Again, we have the VLK Laser 7 milliwatt, the Chrono Mini Pro. This is my favorite optic in the game. It's very slim and, and it adds just that good sight picture. It's clean, it's small, has the blue dot. It's way better than the other optics in the game. I think I think this game has just a useless amount of optics. I mean, in what we have the TRX 56 stock, the D37 grip, and then the phase three grip again. This one I don't put a barrel on because I want to keep the these 300 blackout suppression round like the suppression barrel i kind of want to keep it suppressed because that's kind of like the the personality of the chimera i don't want to get rid of the personality here's a tune for the phase three grip right over here if you want to take a picture of it and the vilka laser does not have a tune like always here is the optic tune this is uh this is what i found to be the best medium for this for this attachment here is the trx 6 stock the reason we're using this one though is because we get the aiming stability and the recoil control boost this gun does have a little bit of recoil and then we have the recoil control grip as well. This is a tune that you want to use. It's going to really help make this gun a absolute laser beam. While it still has a little bit of recoil, this thing is still very, very good in medium. Even small uh, close range gunfights, because of the speed of the weapon, it's not too slow. You can actually win a lot of close range gunfights if you're 
even have a little bit of awareness even if you have an idea of where the enemy is or let's say he takes you by surprise if you're if you're if you're on top of it you should be able to still kill him uh, there's a very few guns who are able to kill you in close range shotguns really uh maybe defending maybe that lockman sub but this gun consistently will outperform those smgs especially after the medium long medium range if you start beating people from long range you most likely will be able to kill them with this weapon here we have on number two spot we have the tac v this is the tac 56 but better in every way now the tac 56 is the one that i would use if you want a little bit more rico control but the tac v is in my opinion like the cr 56 amx with stopping power if you played model for 2019 this thing is like a two to three shot consistently it has a 20 round magazine so you're gonna have to be a little bit more careful with your shots but the good thing is it takes so little to kill them that it shouldn't really matter at the end of the day this is the class setup that i'm using i have the fss ole v laser the cardinal stock the combat grip base three grip and tylr8 muzzle here's a tune for the muzzle here is a tune for the face three grip here is the tune for the cardinal stock now the reason i use this stock is just to give it a little bit more mobility the gun is super slow without it and then here is the recoil control grip called the fss combat grip and here's the tune for it if you take a look at this gun if i take it to the firing range you're gonna see that it has a bit of kick but it absolutely melts it absolutely melts so i shot down all three targets with one magazine pretty consistent you can always have a pistol secondary it's one of those guns that i do recommend running a pistol because of the amount of times that you might run out of ammo mid gunfight the pistol usually will be a one shot even if you manage to get one bullet off with them with the tag the tag v the pistol should get the job done so moving on to number one spot we have the m4a1 now the reason this gun is in the number one spot is because of how consistent the m4 is this is the most forgiving ar in the game and it's the most consistent it's the one that i recommend everybody use especially beginners if you want to get a good feel of the game and good feel of the movement the handling or whatever it is your accuracy your aiming this is just the gun to go to i like this class setup it's the fss OLE laser the corona mini pro then tempest p80 strike stock the socken zx grip and the phase three grip the phase three grip is just the best honor barrel in the game i would always recommend using this for almost every gun here's the okay never mind the game just kicked me out here's a tune for the phase three grip though if you guys want to take a look at that and here is the tune for the optic never mind the game crashed again oh my here is the corona mini pro tune and here is the tempest p80 strike stock this is the tune for this and here is the Socken ZX grip. This is the tune for the Socken ZX grip. Now, these are my five favorite class setups to run SND. I think these the five are the best. These, these are the ones that will give you the most advantage over other people. If you want to take a look at the secondary, this is what I use. This is exactly what I would do if you want a movement PA90. This thing is perfectly fine. You don't have to make it any recoil control weapon. I would always recommend using this if you don't decide to use a knife. I have the DO70 laser, the Bruin Rush 80 grip, the Bruin Express, and the XRK Tac Ops barrel. This is more for movement. Here's a tune for the barrel. Here is a tune for the for the trigger. Here is the tune for the grip. Now you don't need a fifth attachment for this. You can put hollow points if you want, but I wouldn't recommend that unless you're trying to get toxic. Now here is the pistol. You can see the recoil really isn't that bad, and it's gonna be perfect for rushing because it has the movement attachments on it, so you'll be pretty quick. But not knife quick, but you'll still be quick. And if you ever need, you can pull it out and you can, you know. You, you can finish the kill if, if need be for my perk packages recently i've been running a lot of double time with bomb squad fast hands and overclock i actually like overclock a lot because overclock allows you to have one extra field upgrade and you earn them i was running bird's eye for a while and this thing is actually insane because it gives you directional um directional radar so it basically puts people on the minimap with their direction and it seems to be bugged it seems to be pinging constantly every round so if you want to have a bit of cheese on your side take overclock off and put the bird's eye i would honestly recommend these two i wouldn't even touch quick fix if you don't want to run any of these two then i would use it but like these two right here 100 percent. like don't even touch this these two all right so taking a look at the settings here i play i'm gonna go over the basic settings nothing too crazy i play on keyboard and mouse eight cents 0.8 ADS sensitivity on legacy modern warfare ADS sensitivity type gameplay wise i have automatic tag sprint uh toggle for almost everything else here are my keybinds if you want to take a look at them real quick if you want to take a screenshot now these are all how i like them the stuff that you guys should be looking at though is the graphics for the graphics i would always recommend using dlss on balanced 80 that's what i use if you don't like the way it looks fine but for me this gives me almost 200 fps using these settings my video memory scale is slid all the way up i have everything on low and very low if you take a look at here you can screenshot it
there you go now that you have everything here then this is this is very important as well 120 fov affected wide 90 default this right here should be customary for everybody this too this entire page you should copy this entire page word for word bar for bar maybe this one you can do helmet cam game perspective if you want to have that cool helmet cam or whatever that's it this is a must for audio this is what i use if you want to take a look at it boom this is all you need to copy everything else is just completely up to you it does not matter really this is the most important stuff but yeah those are my five favorite class setups in modern warfare 2 if you guys enjoyed it please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel if you want to see any other specific gun or attachment on a specific weapon or a whole video using a specific weapon let me know in the comment section down below share with somebody you think will really enjoy this or help them out make them a little better at the game and so you can stop carrying them if you did though oh, okay with that being said hope you guys have a great rest of your day take it easy